Welcome back. We're gonna make a no-bake pecan pie dip in our Harry Cooper Supply Kitchen. I found this recipe on TikTok months ago. I sent it to Maddie. I'm like, we gotta make this. It looks amazing, but mm -hmm. we gotta get started. So Maddie, okay. you're gonna make the base, which is eight ounces cream cheese, and then we're gonna use um, one cup powdered sugar, already pre-measured, and then half a tub of Cool Whip, and then mix it together. Okay. And then over here for the top topping, we're gonna make the pecan pie portion, which is, let me tell you the ingredients already pre-measured. Half cup brown sugar, we're gonna do uh, half a cup, oh, three tablespoons of butter cut into pieces, which I already have done that. Butter cut into pieces. Uh, a third cup light corn syrup, which we will also, there we go. And again, you can modify, and we'll post this recipe online as well. Okay. And again, I've never made a pecan pie, I just like my sister-in-law's, so that's all I know. That's all I'm going off of, however this tastes. How's it going over there? It's going good. So you said this is pre-measured, we're good? Yep. With all of it? One okay. cup of powdered sugar. I'm gonna try to get all of this out of there. Okay. Man, that carrot syrup is uh, thick. Okay, there we go. Uh, one cup of chopped pecans. There we go. May I Cream use measure. that spatula? This Are you one? okay with that? Yes. Or? Uh, I, yes, go for it, I'll, I'll use this. Okay. There we go. So we're halving this. Is half the That's like perfect. That's perfect, it is. Okay. Let me mix this, let me make sure I got everything in here. Okay, the brown sugar, butter, corn syrup, pecans, oh, vanilla extract. We need one and a half teaspoons vanilla extract. Oh. Slow down. Oh, well there we go. That kind of fell apart. Now, the lady who made this on TikTok was like giving it a 17,000 out of 10, so. Oh wow, that's a lot. She liked it. And then another funny thing she did, she put an egg in it, which egg. I thought, she goes, eggs go in pecan pies, but it cooks out because it's, we're heating this up. I was gonna say, it's no bake, so why would you put egg in it, but. I don't know, she did it, so I'm following her instructions. I, she could be crazy, Maddie. Aren't we all a little crazy? We all go a little mad down here sometimes. Yes. Is that looking like the right consistency, Jeremy? This, the base? Oh, that looks beautiful. B E A, beautiful. You know, I think our, um, I think a theme of the holidays for us is a whip dip. A whip? We have done we so many dips. whip dips, and we're doing one on Friday when you're not here. Have we done too many dips? No. Is it my fault? No. I just love a good dip. Because you know what my favorite thing of the holidays is? Is standing around in the kitchen snacking. Yeah. You know, like, I love the meal, but I get so full from the from meal. The, I, yeah, from I the appetizers. Sit, yes! Yeah. I just want to sit around the kitchen and just talk and snack, and then... I'm gonna bring this to a boil. Let me make sure I got everything in here. Um, and I'm just gonna put a little pinch of salt. A little pinch of salt. Bring out some of that flavor. Okay, now, Maddie, since you've done okay. that, guess what you're gonna do now? You did it so beautifully. Okay. I'll move this out your way. Um, you're gonna put that in the bottom of this glass pie pan. Okay. And just let it... Just fold it in. Fold it in, David. Now this already looks good though. Look at this. Okay, gotta bring it to a light boil and then we're gonna let it cool. Are you okay? Whoops, yep, we're good. Okay, we forgot <laughs> our good. aprons today, so it's our I, fault. I know, it's totally, totally our fault. Okay, I'm gonna start to kind of spread this out here. Yep, put a nice little even base on the bottom. Ooh, that smells so good. It really does. I'm double checking. I did the brown sugar, butter, corn syrup, pecans, vanilla, extract, egg, and salt. Just a pinch of salt. Just a pinch. Now, here's the thing I don't know. I need to Google, because how many times have we cooked on the show and it calls for kosher salt? I don't even know what kosher salt is. What's, yeah, what's the difference? What's the difference? What's the big deal? What's the big deal, my friends? Well, I'm trying to get this to a boil. I don't want to scorch it, though. There we go. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. And get every last drop. Yes, yes, I am. I'm like, you get that last drop. You get drop. that last drop. I'm gonna lick this right here. Come on. <laughs> that is delicious. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. Delicious, okay. Okay. Would you look at that? Um, uh, kosher salt is made with one compound, while other salts are not. So thank you, Producer Jake, for that information in the ear, because I have always been curious why people use kosher salt for something. I guess it's maybe more pure, because it's only one thing. One ingredient. Oh, mm. look at that. That, that is, is so, so good. good. 
Oh my okay. gosh, that is so good. Smooth that out, and what we're gonna do is let that chill in the fridge because we're actually not gonna finish this dip until the second hour because we want that to chill. You go chill in the fridge. I will go, I'll do it. You <laughs> go take chill. a time out, you. You take a time out in the fridge. Okay. Okay, this. I've already. Call that a gentle boil? Yeah. I would say that's a gentle, nice boil. Yeah. I'm just gonna get that going just a little longer. There we go. Okay. Okay, so during Tom's weather in a minute, we're gonna go put that in the fridge okay. and let that sit, and then we're gonna let this just sit at room temperature to cool a little bit because we don't want it to melt the, yeah. all the cream cheese goodness under there. Okay. But I think this is plenty, don't you think? Oh, and that just goes on top, right? And this sits on top. Then, Maddie's gonna cut some apples. Yes. Second segment, and we have some graham crackers and some plain triscuits, because I thought that salty triscuit with that would be good. I don't know. They said to use um, maybe pretzel sticks, but I was like, I want something that can hold. Stick. You know, I'm gonna hold the dip though. Yeah. Okay, but we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait and do that until okay. the next segment. Okay. Here we go. This is. I'm gonna turn this off now. All right. And let it start cooling. But it's, it looks. It's it looking looks great good. and it's smelling fabulous. Oh. Guys, what a great alternative gosh. to having to bake a pie. You could just do this. Yes. It'll look like. How a much quicker pie. too? But I won't. 